This is Sean here at PSI, and I'm here with Kuhn from headquarters for Moton AST. Because we're the Motorsport Development Center for USA, we wanted to walk you guys through the steps of suspension development with AST and Moton, and kind of bring you guys through all the knowledge I've learned for many years of doing this, and also bring Kuhn in to talk about some of the details and all the steps it takes to do a brand new chassis development for a brand new set of coilovers on a platform like this. This is a GR Corolla. This is a new platform for the US. It's not available in Europe. No, correct. So this was a great time for us to work together on this development and show you guys what we do here as a development center. Let's take you through the steps. First step is sending me the OEM dampers. You're either gonna send them over to headquarters with Kuhn or you guys are gonna bring us the car here at the development center so we can take them off and send them to Kuhn as well. Correct, yeah, especially now with the GR Corolla that is not available in Europe, we had to have your help and we got the dampers from Sean into headquarters where we took all the measurements we take all the data off the dampers and then we shipped it back to Sean so he can refit it onto the car. Step two of the process is calculating the motion ratio so after Kuhn and everybody scans the dampers they send them back here to the development center and we go ahead and reinstall them into the car but the way we install them we don't install the springs we just install the dampers to calculate the motion ratio. You did want to determine the motion ratio to calculate the fre frequency of the car so the motion ratio first is the ratio between the wheel and the shock so the shock uh, absorber moves an inch doesn't mean that the wheel moves an inch as well you need to have that information to calculate the frequency of the car the frequency of the car means the oscillation of the suspension simply said if you push the car down the car bounces a little bit and that's the oscillation that we're calculating so for a street car you will have a low frequency so it's more comfortable driving where on a full car race car with like a lot of aero you want to have like a very higher frequency so it's just very stable on bumps so that's what we determine with the motion ratio and the frequency but also after they installed the dampers with no springs we can determine how short the damper can become without the wheels touching anything on the inside which makes it sometimes dangerous on the racetrack but also on full droop you can sometimes see especially on a front wheel drive car in the back that the wheels are getting into an awkward position so a lot of toe in and a lot of positive camber which is something you don't want on the racetrack we determined that okay this is the maximum length for this car on this racetrack so everything is really made custom for this car so after we have all that information at headquarters we can actually produce the dampers to what we think would suit the car so in this case we had a customer that wanted to do more of his uh, autocross a little bit more track racing so we developed a new kit for him and we determined the spring race we came here we sent in the dampers and we are installing the dampers right now. So moving on to step three, where all of the drawings are made in headquarters, and those are all done in 3D space and all made and calculated with all of the metals and everything involved. So we do like we normally do with all our dampers. We put everything in SolidWorks, put all the drawings together so we know that everything will fit. And then all the drawings from the parts go downstairs in the factory where they actually produce all the parts. In this case, we had a prototype damper made. And as soon as that was ready, we shipped it over here to our motorsport center. Now moving on to step four, we have the kit, which is about 95% done it's been manufactured it's been designed and now it's the test fitting phase and during the test fitting phase it has a couple really important aspects of that yeah correct so if you have the dampers there or at least at headquarters we know how to fit the dampers we know what to make we put all the dimensions correctly that's fine so they will 100 percent fit but it's more like the other stuff around it this guy for example is running super wide tires how are we going to find a solution for that how much camber is it going to give on the car itself that is something that you cannot determine by just just having the damper so you really need to fit that on the car get it on the alignment rack and then check everything out so that's what we're going to do today we're going to install it we're going to check everything we're going to check the ride height we're going to check the full droop Everything we just spoke about, we're gonna check actually on the car because that's the best way to do it. Here at the development center, we have tons of springs in stock. We have different links uh, of the drop links. We have everything here that we need to be able to provide the information to, to Kuhn, but also to dial in the kits if they only need one or 2%, just a spring change or something. I have that all here on stock. So step five is sort of combined. After we've fitted everything, we've tested everything so we know it works and the right height is kind of where Kuhn and Adam think it needs to be and go ahead and set it up the way the customer needs it to be set up or the closest to OEM spec at the ride height that we can make it with the adjustments that we have OEM and also with our camera plates. And then also the test drive. Test drive is super important so that we can feel the car, make sure the frequencies feel the way they need to feel yeah. and make sure everything that we've done and we've tried to achieve has been successful. So the steps we've highlighted in this video with the GR Corolla are the same steps that we go through on all of the chassis we've developed in the past since 2016. Those are like Audi R8, obviously the G80 and G87 platforms with BMW. We've 
done some Lamborghini work. We've done some new A90 Supra work. All of those start at this process of sending in OEM dampers, of doing all of these calculations to build the foundation with Kuhn. And it comes down to accessibility. You know, in the US, we have much more access to cars. It's way, it's way easier to find like a specific car that is either US only or a more exclusive car that is not available or not widely available in Europe. So that's why we're partnering up together with Sean to get everything done here. And the feedback also comes from technicians like Adam who know the cars, know the installations, and can provide the feedback from an install perspective on maybe something needs to be changed, maybe we need to redesign a portion of it, maybe the alignment can't be completed because there's no access to the top. That's why we have some special top mounts we've done with the G80. All of these steps matter from my perspective, from the manufacturer perspective, and from an installer, and all this goes into it before the product is put on the shelves for everyone to buy. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing behind the scenes of the development process for AST Moton and everything that goes into all the platforms that we've developed over the years and continue to develop. We'll see you guys next time.